in general talk about his performance today quite different from his last race yes I'm very happy to have him back in the winter circle he, he is definitely a class horse you know very fortunate to have him um, for Mr. and Mrs. Adams of Cortland you know Ernie Redemos has sent him up to us he's been uh, very obvious you know from day one and uh, I think he's a horse with a nice future uh, nothing went right for him in the breeders fraternity regrouped with him uh, shortened him up, but he, he'll move back out to two turns, and I think he's going to be a very good three-year-old. So, I mean, putting him in this spot instead of two races from now, it was just shorten him again, get the confidence. Get well, they, back it, the we backed off on him, you know, just backed up over the, you know, the breeder's three. Didn't get away well, crowded field, just uh, nothing went right. You no, know, didn't want to lose confidence uh, off of that. Just thought the right thing to do was to slow down in the mornings, give him some time, sharpen him up, and uh, get him back in the winter circle. What did he show you in this race that maybe you learned about? Well, enough or? ability to win, uh, enough ability to win a quality race, and, you know, just to... Uh, I think affirmation, you know, from Tyler, a lot of confidence that he'll go further. Goes to New Orleans? Um, we'll, we'll discuss that with uh, Ernie as well as Mr. Adams and uh, decide what race will be next for him. I think it's obvious a stake, you know, coming off of a stakes win here, but multiple winning, uh, two turning three-year-olds, uh, it's pretty much stakes or nothing.